little glue there, bag. You crap that son of a bitch. Yes, yes. Oh, Princess. No, I wasn't exactly asleep. Just waiting. Just wait for dinner? Of course I'll dress. We've got to keep up our morale among these savages, you know. Just wait a half hour. So long, Shelly. I've been summoned. An audience with the Queen. Is it important? Can't you say you'll um, see her later? Huh? The only time exists for Georgia Martin is the time that she sets for others. You better collect your things, sweet. It's strange. I mean, there is uh, a strangeness about her. A strangeness? There's millions and trillions and zillions of strangenesses. What do you think? I was thinking that she sounds like a wife. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, she acts as uh, if she's not Negro. Let me tell you something. Georgia Martin is the only person in this freaking country who's qualified royalty. And she didn't get her throne because some bloodthirsty ancestor died and left it for her. Now, my dear boy, you get your tired ass up. And let the doorknob hit you, where the good Lord split you. Oh, it's such an elegant dinner. It's wonderful to be able to eat without the stares of all those grubby little people. The grubby little folks who pay all the bills? Mrs. A. You're really not obliged to needle me. I'm on her side, remember. Herbert, do I have to do that photography thing tomorrow? I fell asleep the moment I saw the bed. Really, I'm exhausted. Did you? What, sleep? Not quite, nearly. But you did lie down. I rested. Mr. Anderson used to say, there's no rest in an empty bed. Mr. Anderson had a saying for everything, didn't he? There's nothing short about Mr. Anderson except his hair. And he cut that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> you know, when I was very small, we used to say, was that a big old good one or a good old big one? <laughs> <laughs> a good mouth blesses itself. This is a... Do you consciously try to be mysterious. She has to try not to be. Don't you see all that Louisiana juju halo around her? You watch her around whites. If I didn't know better, I'd swear she sprinkles goofy dust in the cornflakes. You may laugh, but with whites, it's better to muscle up your mouth 
and unlatch your mind. Because while you're sleeping, they're peeping. Another Mr. Andersonism, Miss Anderson? He knew them, and he said every one of them was pure white to the bone. Herbert, she's not going to change. Not tomorrow or any other day. Tomorrow you have an appointment with the photographer oh, at 10. Oh, dear God, at 10. He's, the, he's American. Did you notice that? Wait, I'll leave a bottle of Marco Shea in the ice bucket for Madam. Good night, sweet Mrs. A. Beige brings out the gold in your skin. Good night, Princess. Hon, I know I don't have to remind you that you have to be extra careful with Pecklewoods. Europeans know they don't know us, and they don't mind being told. Crackers think they do. They're the ones always trying to tell you what you think and what you want. Since you know you don't have to remind me, why did you? This boy tomorrow, he's what they call good looking. Now, I've never seen one of them who looked like that, who didn't think he was smart. All he's going to do is to take my picture. Now, I might be backward, but I don't believe he can steal my soul and lock it up in his little black box. I might stand a better chance of locking his up in mine. So that's the way you answer me. Well, excuse me, church. I didn't know you were empty. Oh, come on, hon. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm just tired. You know that I know that the best people in the world are right here in this room. In this room, at this very moment. You're tired. Go to sleep. I'll see that the beige is laid out for you. Sporty? <laughs> <laughs> It brings out the gold in your skin. <laughs> oh. Teens. Your mama took to shouting. Your papa went to war. Your brother's in the street. Your sister's in the bar. Thirteen, baby. Right on. Your buddy's taking smack. Your uncle's in the joint. Your girl is in the gutter shooting for her point. Thirteens. Right on. I don't know. About this. You all know about this chick, right? Yeah. Man, look, look, I'm just telling you, all I need, all I need, man, is a chance to see her. She'll do it. Man. I know that, man. I know that. Man. This, this cat, what, man, man, take this. This cat, he better say Joe to every last one of us. Because he sure don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, man. Man. Chick left to say something ten years ago. Yeah, Wouldn't have a ten chance years ago, man. Yeah, 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 Black. All right, right on, right on. Man, Tell right like it is, man. Man, yeah. you cast yeah, brother. Right no. on down. Man, do you, do you actually believe, man, that a human being, a person, anybody gonna run out on a battlefield? You hear me? Now pick up a live hand grenade and stick it in his ass pocket. Oh, man, come on. If he ain't got to, come on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Black. No, man, you idealistic dudes ain't, ain't no way. Tell brother's black. Black, black, black. black ain't that. That's real. That's black, man. But, that's beautiful. But, Mike. Mike. Michael, baby. Come here, baby. Pull up the stump. Sit down. Come on over and sit down. And... Okay, baby. Sit down. Pull up the stump. Okay. Say, man, Dean. Um, the great band says that you're going to be, uh, Photographing Georgia Martin, is that true? True. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, Dig, man, I've got to see this part, you know what I mean? And I figure on, uh, if I could hang in with you, you know, I'd get a chance to lay down my game, you know what I'm well, talking I can't, about? I can't work with people around. Anyway, I don't know her, I just met her, that's all. Well, listen, man, wait a minute, let me I tell don't... you what's happening, man. Wait a minute, man, sit down, let me tell you what's happening, baby. Uh-oh. Sit down, I'm talking. Like now, Dick, anyway. man, listen. If this broad Georgia Martin went on a press conference and spoke up for all of the deserted community, we might get more attention from the government, man. We might be, get better jobs. Huh? Yeah. We might get we might get political asylum. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Instead of this humanitarian yeah. bullshit we got. You know what I'm talking about, man? You dig that? You yeah. dig? But I'm. I, I'm in a, more power to you, but I'm in no position to help. Right, help. Help, Winters. Winters. Him help us? Huh? Man, this cat, he got a slick pad, ain't he? Huh? He laid out, he clean, huh? He working, ain't he? He's getting all the lay he can use. That's your boy, mm -hmm. Michael. He ain't that kind of a dude. Oh, shit, if you call him the factory, you might as well add that he's the oldest living the factory. I'm hip, I'm hip to that. And dig this, the fact even before he had a chance to get to the NAM, you hear me? Yeah, well, if you fellas, if you fellas ever get home, you can all get on the Johnny Carson show, yeah? Really funny, you dig that? Seriously, he's not gonna help you set up a meeting. You and Georgia, man. He has ice cream brown sugar himself. Man, that kid ain't had a fucking hard on since the army sent him to colonize a fucking goose. Man, you want to go watch him? Don't want to stay down, man. Come on. Come on, brother, sit down, man. I ain't told no. But I had this fucking life, did I, bastard? Did I, impotent bastard? Never. 